just want to say that it's because of the National Railway Museum, because of the Science Museums in general and the other good museums that I felt motivated to strike out and to become an innovator in mail. I haven't got my concept funded yet, but it's because of the passion that I felt when I saw the exhibits here and in London and elsewhere that I really decided this is what I wanted to do. And uh, I'm living proof that these kinds of places are vital to, to inspire the engineers and designers of the future. Can you hear me? At the moment, um, the Chancellor will be making a decision over the next spending review in the next couple of weeks, and that will affect severely the budgets towards the Science Museum group. Now, that cut uh, can affect the Manchester Science and Technology Museum, the Bradford Media Museum, and also here at the National Railway Museum in York. Now, what we have done is called this rally to bring people together to be able to show the support for the entire museum sector for the north of England. This isn't about York versus Brandon or Manchester versus York. This is about all of those museums. Because if we are going to become a country again that produces things, that doesn't just rely on financial services for economic growth, then the children here, and their interest in the future, in science and technology, is what is going to be important. So we don't want to be able to lose uh, the, the interest of those people to be able to become interested in the science and technology that is here in this museum today. And this museum has just under a million visitors a year, which is very, very significant for your and for this economy. It's an important part of our heritage. As the chaplain to the railway, I just actually want to add the thanks of the board, of the director, and of all the staff and the very special volunteers here at the Railway Museum who really do appreciate that support in what's a very difficult situation for them. I also want to thank Karen Lilliman, who's here today and who actually started the petition to save the Railway Museum. Karen has worked tirelessly. I can see her hiding behind people, so I won't point her out. She's waving now. So thank you, Karen, for that, because we really do appreciate what you've, what you've done there. Can she have a round of applause for that? I actually just wrote a few words down, actually, rather than me trying to forget things. So the thing is that I know that people will mention today, or, or will have already been mentioned, is that tourism is a key aspect of the Railway Museum. And that's right in us trying to save it for that reason. As well as the other museums, of course, in Bradford and in Manchester. For the better good from a national and also from an international perspective. And of course, we endorse that from the railway industry. However, I wanted to take a slightly different slant as well. A personal perspective as well as a professional one. I wanted to do it as the son of a railway family, as well as my role within the industry as its chaplain, of which this building comes as part of my railway parish. I like your posters. I like this one here. I love the National Railway Museum. The North needs museums too. I have autism. The National Railway Museum is my favourite place. Women love the National Railway Museum and dozens of Save the National Railway Museum, Save Our Museum. Thank you for turning out for this rally today. Your presence here, I believe, will make a difference. I think we can stop this museum closing so long as we raise our voices and protest. Uh, this is a really important asset for York. James Alexander, the leader of the council, has explained that. But this isn't just a, a regional or even a national museum. This is an international asset of enormous cultural value. I want to say thank you to the director, the staff, and most of all the volunteers who keep this museum open. Can we say hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Do you want the museum to stay open? Yes! Are you sure? Yes! Will you campaign? Yes! Let's keep this museum open. Thank you for coming to the rally today.
haven't already signed the petition, please do, because it is so important that we save this museum. And this museum, above all else, above most other museums across the country, has more and more families and young people that come here. And if we're going to inspire the next generation of engineers that will create the technology of the future, this museum must stay open. Thank you.